And how does, you know, Corden being released in the open source help in adoption the market? Because once again, you and I come from open source, you know, Root, so it does play a big role in companies making decisions there. That's a fantastic point. I mean, for us, open source is key to adoption. It's key to people feeling comfortable with using systems and preventing lock-in. You know, we all, we've all heard about the challenges that have been caused by changes in licensing with big brands. Um, you know, those are creating a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fear in the industry. That is caused by lock-in from proprietary software. Now, I'm not anti-proprietary software, but I, I strongly believe that the core infrastructure software that we run our world on needs to be open. And that is to give people optionality. It's to ensure that we can compose the systems as we need them. Um, we don't believe in dictating architecture. We believe in collaboration of architecture. We believe that people need to have control of their own destiny. And this is what open source brings. And so by building our tools using open standards, we're here at Cloud Native. You know, CNCF is driving standards through open source. And those standards allow us to collaborate better as a, as a community. It also allows us to innovate faster because we can stand on the shoulders of the giants who have come before us, learn, and not have to reinvent the wheel every time we go forward. And so that's the value of open source to us. It's core to our ethos. Everything we're doing moving forward as a company is in the open source space. We lost our way a little bit, but we've come back from that full tilt. Uh, K-Zeros is a good example of that. Cordent is fully open source and will remain so. Um, and we're constantly looking at how we can add more of our products. You know, we're big tout here. We launched Raccoon, which is our OpenStack operator um, at the end of last year. You know, Raccoon can run on top of Cordent. It, it's a OpenStack as Kubernetes. Um, so this is all part of our, our approach for the future. And you've also contributed your project into CNCF Sandbox. And uh, talk a bit about what roadmap you have, because now it's part of CNCF, so that means there's a big ecosystem where players will work on it. Uh, but uh, when are you looking at it being graduated? Or what kind of trajectory you're looking at? For so we're already starting to create great relationships because of it being in the CNCF Sandbox. So the Kairos project. The Kairos project has recently accepted um, k zeros as one of its default Kubernetes options. Um, we would like it to graduate as soon as we can. Um, the process of getting into the CNCF has been incredible, working with the CNCF. You know, we've had deep relationships, but you know, strengthening those relationships with the CNCF and just working with a community of people who are giving us feedback to make it better. Um, as we move forward, we intend to donate more of our capabilities into the CNCF and, and other communities, also all under the Linux Foundation. Um, again, with the intention of helping to create and set standards that are open um, and not lock people into a path that doesn't suit their architectural needs.